scrap. No, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Let's Ace get an average moose here. So I am doing finally this video that was like three or four years in the, in the, uh, in the well, not in the making because I haven't started working on it until now, but I promised it several years ago. Uh, we're going to be incinerating IC chips, and I've got with me a uh, friend Gil from Gil Skills. Hi, guys. And Dana from Tommy Trailers. So I'm going to put links in the video in the description. Make sure you check them out. They've got some great videos on their own. Uh, so we're going to start this off. Uh, with some fire. Everyone likes a little fire. Alright, so what I've got here is a little steel box that a friend of mine fabricated for me with, <laughs> thanks Vanna, um, <laughs> with some fire bricks in there. And we've got a, a turkey burner, it's uh, just a large propane torch, you can get at Harbor Freight for 25-30 bucks. Um, they usually use them for burning weeds and stuff, uh, but we're going to use that to incinerate these IC chips. Now, I have got a bucket of nothing but ram IC chips. Now, I think this is about two pounds. So we are going to start this, or actually this is step two in the process. The first video was on getting all the little legs off of them. So now we're going to incinerate them and then the next video is going to be on recovering all the little gold bonding wires out of them. Yeah, yas. All right, so let's start this fire up. So I've already got a few ICs in there, I'll zoom in. And you can see one that's already starting to turn a little gray. That's what we want. These are sea chips on fire! <laughs> so you want to dump these in slowly, just a few at a time. And you wait until they turn gray. Once they've turned gray, that means the epoxy has um, pretty much been completely incinerated. Uh, all the uh, You don't want to stir it around too much. right, you're not going to smell very much, right? If you're doing it wrong, if it's not enough heat, you are going to smell some really nasty, like, burning plastic, garbagey kind of horrible smell. I think it's, uh, I think it's 
to the point where the level is getting high enough where it's not really incinerating that well. So we're going to let it cool down a tad. Yeah, those rocks are hot. <laughs> So we're going to take a break from this for a bit. We're going to let this batch cool off. As you can see, they're kind of grayish-white. Um, the level of chips in there is getting a little too high for us to keep going, so we're going to let it cool off, scrape them out, and start back up again. All right, folks, so we just finished up the second round. Um, you can see the inside is still cherry red. It looks like it's almost molten in there. Um, but they're all pretty much incinerated. So, this is uh, the next step. So after this, we're going to be putting together a video of uh, actually breaking down those IC chips and getting the bonding wires out. Alright, so that's it for this video for uh, incinerating the IC chips. Uh, make sure you watch the next video and I'll try not to let it take three years to get the next one done. Uh, but now that this part's done, the rest is easy. Uh, so special thanks out to, again, Gil from Gil Skills. And Dana from Tell Me Trailers. Alright, so thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share. And see you on the next one.